I this video want to speak about you know the fight coming up you know with McGregor and Mayweather and just putting it out there the scenario if um, McGregor actually beats Mayweather what that really means um, I just saw a recent video with Ricky Hatton um, commenting on the fight that's gonna take place and you know for one it was sad to see Ricky Hatton how he let himself go you know um, he just gained a lot of weight and he looks very different now but he was considered one of the a really good boxer back in the day and he was undefeated at one point and his first loss was to Mayweather I remember watching that fight on YouTube um, Hatton was inside fighter, a brawler, and undefeated. Mayweather was undefeated, and then um, Mayweather brought him down. Um, and, you know, but he was a good fighter, you know, but just not good enough. And then he commented on the fight saying, you know, that there's no way that McGregor's going to win, you know, that Mayweather would just destroy him. and. You know, he, he went on to, to state what he thought. Um, and I agree with him wholeheartedly. And I already made a video stating what's gonna, what I feel is gonna happen. But at the same time, I'm thinking about, you know, I've read a lot of comments of what people said. And, um, you know, some things to put in consideration. A lot of people are saying, you know, I, I know that Mayweather is going to destroy him, but I still want, you know, it would be still cool to see McGregor win and all this other stuff. Um, but I think if McGregor does win, it's going to be, it's going to make everybody look bad. You know, not just Mayweather, but everybody. It's going to make all boxers look bad. It's going to make the whole boxing Everything that boxing stands for is gonna make make that look bad. It's gonna make every single boxer in history look bad. Um, every single person that lost to Mayweather is gonna look bad. Um, Mike Tyson's gonna look bad. Muhammad Ali's gonna look bad. Everybody that's involved in boxing is gonna make them look bad because it's gonna make the you know it's it's a disrespect to the sport. It's basically saying that boxing ain't shit you know here you got somebody who doesn't even box and he comes in and beats the best boxer to ever live you know a living legend the undefeated boxer the best to ever live here you got somebody that doesn't even box that comes in and beats the best boxer what does that mean for the entire boxing community you know the person that's supposed to be the, the best of the best within their realm can't even beat this 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 person that doesn't even box for a living you know he does MMA for a living he doesn't even box and then this the best boxer that's ever lived loses to this guy you know so then basically what that's implying is that every single person that Mayweather has beaten cannot beat McGregor you know um, Pacquiao can't beat him um, Hatton can't beat him. Oscar De La Hoya can't beat him. Um, all the big name people, you know, that's ever boxed, you know, that ever lost to Mayweather, they can't beat him. Um, Mosley, everybody. You know, and it just destroys the entire credential of what boxing is supposed to represent when you say that you're a champion. And when you say that you're 20 and 0, 30 and 0, 40 and 0, 50 and 0, it destroys all those credentials. Because you got somebody who's inexperienced, who doesn't even know what he's doing, who's not even a boxer himself, going in and beating the best person in boxing. And that it's either um, rigged which if it is rigged, then it really makes boxing look really bad because it's like, why, this is not a sport. Because if it's staged, if it's rigged, then it's not really a sport and that's against the law and, and everybody involved needs to go to jail. Because 
that destroys, you know, the meaning of sport. You know, it's not supposed to be rigged, it's not supposed to be staged, it's not supposed to be pre-planned and pre-arranged. So if it goes that route, it's, it destroys the reputation of boxing. If it goes the route where Conor McGregor actually wins, you know, not because it's rigged, because he actually wins, it makes every single boxer look bad. And it, 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 it makes boxing seem as if it's a joke. That a nobody, not just a nobody, but a person that even box himself goes in there and um, beats the best boxer living. You know, what he's supposed to do is, he, you know, he's supposed to become a boxer and build up, you know, his reputation through consistent fighting in the boxing community to prove himself to be worthy to go against Mayweather. He has to basically beat every single boxer to lead up to Mayweather. He had to get like a 30-0 record fighting the top boxers out there and proving that he could beat them before he gets to Mayweather. But for him to just jump up to Mayweather without even fighting any other but nobody else that's a boxer, that is just... Um, it's a disrespect you know, to the sport, you know, and I know it's all about the money, obviously, you know, the the UFC, the MMA, they're making a lot of money off of it, obviously, McGregor's making money off of it, Floyd is making money off of it, um, and everybody involved in, the, in it is going to make money off of it, that's why it's going on, but the reality is that you know, if if he does win, it really, um, you know, it destroys the entire sport of boxing altogether. You know, it really does. And um, it just makes everybody look like a nobody. As far as the great boxers are concerned, even Mike Tyson, you know, um, Muhammad Ali. You know, because then people start saying, hey, you know, I don't even need to train to be a boxer and I can beat boxers in what they do. You know, it's, it's, um, it's a disrespect. You know, um, but honestly, what is going to happen and what is supposed to happen is just like what happened with the, the, the recent UFC fighter who died in the boxing ring. If you're truly a wrestler and you don't belong in the boxing ring, you could literally die in that boxing ring if you get if you put yourself in there too many times. It doesn't have to be too many times. It could just be one time. But basically, you get beaten. To, you could get beaten to death. Um, and vice versa, same thing. You put a boxer who doesn't know anything about wrestling, not just wrestling, but doesn't know anything about ground fighting and you have him fight against a ground fighter, he get choked to death. And that's what happens a lot. So, somebody that doesn't know how to ground fight, you put him in the ground fight, he get choked to death. Somebody that doesn't know how to stand the fight, you put him in the boxing ring, he could get beaten to death. Like what happened to that UFC fighter. You know, so, um, Everybody should just be respected for what they're good at, you know, but people got to realize what's going on here, you know. Um, Mayweather is not just Mayweather. May rep Mayweather is representing the best of the best in boxing right now. And the best of the best can't even beat somebody who's not even the best in the MMA. He's just the most popular, but he's not even the best. And he's not even a boxer to begin with, and he can't even beat him. What does that mean? You know, to everybody that's ever even fought Mayweather and lost. And to the entire boxing and what it's supposed to represent. You know? Um, you know, I don't doubt McGregor's good at certain things, but 
the fact of the matter is he is not a boxer. And boxers, you know, is completely different than what cage fighters do. You know, it's completely different than wrestlers do. You know, um, it's not the same. You know, and um, what should happen and what I hope to happen is that Mayweather just completely demolish him. You know, that, that he won't even be able to touch him. And Mayweather's just going to get, like, all the hits in and just destroy him, you know, because that's how it's supposed to be, you know, when you got somebody that specializes in something for his whole life. Um, but if anything happens otherwise, and McGregor finds a way to actually win the fight, um, I will completely lose respect for every single professional boxer out there. Not just Mayweather, but all of them. Because they're supposed to be the best at what they do in their sport. And if you got somebody that, that's, not even, that's not even his sport, and he goes in there and beats the best, you know, that's, that's absurd. You know, but it kind of points it out, you know, McGregor, he's not even undefeated in his own sport. You know, not even, not even too long ago, he lost to Nate Diaz. You know, got choked out or whatnot. And he had a hard time beating him the second time around. You know, and um, that's his own sport. And it's not just one loss, he has three, is, is what they said. You know, and... I think it's absolutely ridiculous for them to even pair them up. I know it's about the money, but they should, you know, somebody made a comment saying McGregor can't even beat the, the Golden Gloves champion, amateur boxers. He can't even beat the best amateur. You know, it's just nonsense. It's kind of like having the NBA all-star team, the dream team, and then they lose to like a high school team. That's just absurd. Like, how could the NBA All-Star team, the dream team, lose to a high school team, high school basketball team, full of young teenagers? I mean, that's just, that's absurd. You know, that destroys the credibility of the entire NBA league and what it's supposed to represent. It's supposed to represent the top, the best basketball players in the world. They go to the NBA. That's what it's supposed to represent. And if a high school team goes and starts and just beats them, that's that's abs that that's just that's absurd. I mean, that's that it's like going against gravity, you know. And um, it's a disrespect to the sport. It's just it's just um, celebrity fighting at the moment. You know, um, just kind of like they're saying, I think it was Chris, Chris Brown fighting against somebody, some other rapper, some t two rappers are having beef with each other, wanting to fight each other. It's kind of like that. And they're trying to make money off that. But that, that has nothing to do with true, you know, true athletes and what they're good at. You know, it's like having... Usain Bolt, you know, the fastest person in the world, and he loses to a high school track runner. You know, that that doesn't, or not even a track runner. He loses to, you know, a high school, you know, tennis player. You know, he's not even, he's not even a sprinter himself. He's just a tennis player, and then he beats Usain Bolt in the 100 meter dash. I mean, it's just, that destroys the entire reputation of what the entire sport is supposed to represent. And you shouldn't just let him go against the best just because he's famous. You know, he needs to build up to prove himself. You know, he needs to beat the best boxers out there right now. 
put him up against Pacquiao before he goes against Mayweather. Because Pacquiao couldn't even beat Mayweather. You know, um, put him up against all the great boxers that are not as great as Mayweather. Put him up against all of them first. You know, that's how it's supposed to go. You know, but it's all about the money and they're, they're doing the circus, the circus, the circus act. But if it's going to be real, like it's supposed to be, then he should be completely demolished to the point where maybe he even almost dies in the ring because he doesn't, because he refuses to give up. Then that's keeping it real. You know, um, but if any way, if he, if any way he finds a way to win, then, you know, every single person that, that's into boxing, every person that is a boxer, your whole reputation is all on the line. You all look like fools. You know, that all, you know, that all, that any MMA fighter, any fighter, doesn't matter who it is, can just destroy you, even though they don't practice. They'll just destroy you in what you're good, and what you're supposed to be good at. They'll, 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 they'll destroy you. You know, and, you know, I would, I would lose a lot of respect for all the boxers out there. Honestly, you know, it's expected, you know, you put a boxer against a wrestler, you know, that he probably will lose, he might lose. You put him against a ground fighter, he probably will lose or he might lose. It's expected, you know, if you put him into what they're good at, you know, you make a boxer wrestle, you make a, per a boxer fight on the ground, then it's not going to turn in his favor. You make a boxer try to go into to fight, you know, to do a Taekwondo tournament with the best Taekwondo person, he's not going to do well. That's not what he does. But if you bring somebody who's not even a boxer into boxing, and he beats the best boxer in the world, possibly the best boxer to ever live, that right there, it's, um, That's not supposed to happen. It's not. You know, and if you if you wish for it to happen, then you you must not want boxing to thrive. You you must look at boxing as um, as worthless. You know, you know, because he's fighting pretty much for the reputation for all boxers at that moment. He's the representative of boxing. And at this moment, you get the representative of MMA. And they're challenging each other. And the representative of boxing is like coming to our realm See if you can beat us at what we do. And, um, you know, he shouldn't let up on him. He shouldn't, he shouldn't give him any hope, any chance. He should just should simply just demolish him and let them know that, that uh, boxers deserve a great amount of respect for what they do and what they train in and the skills that they develop. You know, so at this moment is boxing versus MMA. You know, and uh, they can never be friends. You know, um, ground fighters, wrestlers, and boxers completely different. They can't be friends. They're always going to be in conflict. You know, what they do is just opposite. You got one, one sport that's surrounded, is, is revolved around stand-up combat, hand-to-hand combat, stand-up, 
another sport designed to be revolved around fighting on the ground, rolling on the ground, pinning each other down, holding each other. They're completely opposite sports. They can't be friends. You know, and you can respect each sport for what they're good at, but trying to merge both together and have them be friends it doesn't doesn't play out that way. You know, so um, I see that Mayweather is stand up for the boxing and in a way um, he's pretty much representing like more professional type of fighting, more um, controlled, more um, graceful, you know, more respectable, more controlled, more like the martial arts, you know, You know, I think that's what he's representing. You know, he's not a martial artist. And clearly, McConaughey McConner ain't either. But Mayweather, to me, is much closer to being a martial artist than Conor will ever be. So, um, this boxing match is pretty much representing more of the martial artist against you know, just a bully or something like that. You know, I know there's hate on both sides. There's a lot of people that don't like Mayweather. There's a lot of people that don't like McGregor. Um, but if I'm looking at it from just the standpoint of the fighting styles and the methods and how they spar, you know, how they fight and the sport that they're involved in, boxing and what Mayweather does, the way that he boxes, is much closer to real martial arts than what McGregor represents as far as the cage fight is concerned and the grounding and pounding and the bullying and and just the brutalness, the attitude, the arrogance, all that is not what martial arts is. You know, and um I, mean, I think just people should just realize what they're saying when they say that they hope McGregor wins. Realize what they're trying, what they're saying. You know, it's, it's, it's dismantling, destroying what boxing is supposed to represent. You know, this is, this is what they're good at. This is their thing. This is their bread and butter. Here you got the best. And you want somebody that's not even the best at what he does who doesn't even box, who's not even a boxer, to be the best of the sport that you love. You know, that's, that's outrageous. That's not, that's not loyalty to boxing. That's not respect for boxing. That's like me, you know, loving the martial arts, loving Bruce Lee, and then hoping that some Some guy that doesn't even practice martial arts hoping that he's going to beat up Bruce Lee. Why would I hope for that? This person is representing the martial arts. He's the top person. The legend. And you want some nobody who doesn't even train in martial arts to just beat up Bruce Lee. Not just not shoot and kill Bruce Lee, but just beat him up. Just hand-to-hand -hand combat. Just beat him up. That's not supposed to happen. Not at all. You know. Um, you know, that's just what I had to say about that. You know. Um, there's a lot of money involved. And I don't blame either one of them getting involved. 
but I think that this is a good way to kind of if the ways are if, the, if things turn out the ways they're supposed to, it's a way to really expose MMA and what it's what it is. It's just a bunch of bullshit. And we saw it with Ronda Rousey, for example. Here they are, you know, saying that she's the best fighter in the world. She could probably beat up every single person in this world. She could probably beat up Bruce Lee. They said that she could beat up Mayweather. And then here, they're comparing her to the best boxer in the world, who's a man. But then she hasn't even beaten men in her career. She only fights against other women. And then... She ends up getting destroyed by amateur boxers that are women themselves. Not just destroyed, but completely humiliated and embarrassed. Here they made her up to seem some like some type of god. And then the truth comes forward that it's just a bunch of bullshit. It's just all hype. And um this is this is gonna be another example of that. That it's just all hype. You know, you got people that aren't even that talented acting as if they're really talented. You know. As I stated in my other videos, they're not the best in boxing. They're not the best in kickboxing. They're not the best in Muay Thai. They're not even the best in wrestling. They're either the best at nothing. They're just a bunch of people gathered up together to fight. To entertain people through violence. These are not truly skilled individuals in this cage. It's all a big hype. And to call a martial artist on top of that is a complete disrespect to the martial arts. It really is. And it happened just not too long ago. The ex-UFC fighter ends up getting killed in the boxing ring. Why is that? Because he's not a boxer. Just because you fight in a cage doesn't make you a boxer. And if you fight against real boxers, you're gonna get killed. Because fighting in a cage does not make you a boxer. Fighting in a cage doesn't even make you a wrestler. Fighting in a cage doesn't make you a kickboxer. Fighting in a cage doesn't make you a, a Muay Thai boxer. Like these other sports have been around for a long time and people have specialized in these sports. And all these sports across all boards don't allow you to hit people while they're grounded. But MMA has no problem with allowing you to hit a grounded opponent. And that's pretty much the only difference that they've introduced into the realm of combat sport. Hitting a grounded opponent. That's the only thing that they've contributed to combat sport, which is a disrespect to combat sport. You know, there's a video that my students shared with me the other day where people, these two guys were kickboxing. And then one person just started, just turned away from his opponent in the middle of the match and started walking away. And then the person that he was fighting just ran up behind him and just hit him as hard as he can and knocked him out. Knocked out the person that was walking away. And then the crowd got so upset that a few people jumped into the ring and started trying to beat up on the kickboxer that did this. So the crowd didn't like to see that. They didn't like to see somebody taking advantage of somebody who was walking away from the fight. But 
what's so different than walking away from the fight and falling to the ground. When you fall to the ground, you're no longer a threat. You're on the ground. How can you be a threat if you're on the ground? You're already down. So at that moment, you should leave the person alone and only fight him once he becomes a threat again. But UFC MMA comes in and destroys, takes away that rule and starts telling people to start hitting grounded opponents. That is not sport. That is not something that requires skill and talent. That's just brutality, excessive force, violence. So MMA is not something that should be respected. It's not art, it's not martial arts, and it's not boxing, not even close. So if things turn out the way that they're supposed to, this fight should also start to expose the MMA and cage fighting. This person, this former UFC fighter who died in the boxing ring is another example to show, to expose what MMA is. Ronda Rousey and her rise to fame and her crashing down Getting destroyed is another exposure to what MMA is about in the cage, fighting. And once again, this whole Conor thing is kind of like the way to cash out. Cash out in the hype as much as you can before people figure out what the hell this is, which is, is bullshit. This is not even, it's not martial arts. This is not really skill and talent. This is not like professional boxing. This is not even like professional, this is not even like college wrestling. It's just a way to make money. As long as you're famous, as long as people like you, you can come in here and fight. If people pay you to watch you fight, then you could fight. Just say that like it is. You don't need to have, to know anything about fighting. As long as you are famous, as long as people want to see you fight, you could come in here and fight. And don't call it martial arts. Don't call it MMA. Just call it cage fighting. Anybody could come and hit this cage to fight as long as people want to watch it. Just call it like it is. But don't make it seem or appear as if these people that are fighting in the cage are even close to the talent that's required to become a professional boxer. Don't make it even appear to be so. Because you know that's false. You know that's a bunch of bullshit. You know, you could throw in a bunch of football players to fight in there if you want, a bunch of basketball players, a bunch of tennis players, maybe have the bodybuilders duke it out, you know, just have some of these politicians duke it out, you know, just have high school kids duke it out. Just whoever wants to fight in the cage, just let them go in there and fight. But it has nothing to do with real martial arts, and it has nothing to do with real boxing. Or even real wrestling. The entire thing is a joke. You know. That's how I feel about it. You know. And I just want to share that.